are here tonight across from Pfizer Forum, which will actually host the first Republican presidential primary debate. That's happening tomorrow night. The candidates are making their case for your vote right here in Milwaukee. These eight candidates qualified last night. Former President Donald Trump is skipping the debate. And these three candidates claim to have met the criteria, but the Republican National Committee disagreed. Talk show host Larry Elder and businessman Perry Johnson say they're actually going to sue the RNC about it. 12 News political director Matt Smith joins us now from the Deer District. Matt. Patrick, the candidates beginning to arrive tonight. Vivek Ramaswamy, one of those candidates, holding a pre-debate party for supporters. He's expected here within the next half hour to speak to those supporters here gathered just below where you were, Patrick and Joyce, in the Beer Garden in Deer District. This all ahead of the debate tomorrow night, 24 hours away, eight candidates on the stage. As you mentioned, former President Donald Trump not on the stage. His supporters, some of his surrogates in town as well. We also talked with another candidate who just made the stage within the past week, former Governor Asa Hutchinson. Trump not on the stage, good thing or bad thing? You know, actually, I think it's good for the uh, voters because they'll get to see the contrast between the alternative candidates. And I think America wants alternative to Donald Trump if we're going to win in 2024. Wisconsin's a good example of that. This is a state that's going to be tough to win for a Republican, and we need to have somebody that can appeal to independent voters and suburb suburban voters. So, Matt, tomorrow a big day. Walk us through a little bit of what's happening tomorrow. Joy, so front and center with Trump out, front and center on the stage will be Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and Vivek Ramaswamy. He's expected to address supporters here around 6.30. The two-hour debate begins at 8 o'clock in prime time. Candidates will have one-minute responses with 30 seconds for follow-up, Joyce. Political Director Matt Smith reporting live from Deer District. Thank you. The debate is already attracting people to this area. This time tomorrow, several roads around the arena in this area will be closed. Matt Salemi reports from above Pfizer Forum in News Chopper 12. Matt. Pretty much everything you see in this frame is going to be closed off tomorrow, and anybody who's left parked in that area will be ticketed and towed, according to Milwaukee police. I will zoom in here and show you the setup is underway. They've got a viewing area set up, and they've got dozens of media platforms being set up right in the plaza there that you can already see. You see the fencing already lining up around that area. And as uh, mentioned already, 3 o'clock tomorrow, that's when things start with the full closure to all access. You'll have to have the proper credentials to get into this area or you will be turned away, and if your car is left inside, it will be towed.